What's up guys, Zergrizz here, and welcome to the standoff tutorial. Good morning. <laughs> it's so early, why am I doing the tutorial at 8 o'clock in the morning? I don't know. Anyway, uh, be going over this with the help of Anzi, and we got a lot of shot spots and different uh, things to show you, alternate entrances and whole whatnot. Alright, so the first thing we're going to show you guys is the first blood to save A, or you can use this in a regular standard game mode. You're going to prone out right on top of the tall light weed, and you're going to be looking straight up so your bottom crosshair is either lined up with the A icon if you're playing Dom, or just in to the right off the left side of that roof. And uh, you're just going to throw your combat axe straight up. And again, not only are either both of these spots going to save the flag, but it's also going to hit uh, first blood. So here's the one with the C flag. You're going to see a little bit of grass sticking out of the center of the road right out of spawn. So you're prone out on that, looking straight up. And again, either line up C or the uh, top right uh, edge of that circle there. And that's going to land right on top of the flag. So just keep that in mind that these combat axe spots will double as first blood spots um, as well as flag saves. So moving on to shot spots, we got one here, you got the hay bale, you got over top of the van, if you walk forward it'll kind of pop you up and glitch you so you can uh, shoot uh, over the head glitch. Here you can prone out, look through the windows into the double windows. You can climb on top of the van and actually jump across and grab that roof if you wanted to pull like a no scope into the double windows or you can use the van to do the same thing. There's also a ladder on the right but I'm pretty sure you didn't know about that so we didn't figure we'd have to cover that. <laughs> um, if you come in the back side here there's a hard point upstairs if you happen to come up this side there's an alternate entrance into the window for this hard point up here which is really nice to know and uh, very effective that you don't have to use the stairs because a lot of times they'll camp the stairs with shotguns and stuff like that. So you've got this partial wall here which uh, we figure you already knew about. And then there's an alternate entrance right here up to the side windows. So there's like four different ways to get into that hard point there. Um, right here you have some boxes to get in the top floor of the double windows. And as soon as you come out this door to the right, if you look in between the wall and the dumpster, you have a little viewpoint to that back right alley. And uh, there's a head glitch over here by the car and also over by the dumpster. And all you gotta do is just strafe out and you can see down to that right alley. Now the car works a lot better if it's blown up, but you know you get the general idea. Uh, here you have uh, the van, which would make a pretty nice montage clip because you can pull a little 360 uh, wall grab there, um, or you can just use the the dumpster and climb your way up. Here's your alternate entrance into this building here, and it's a nice little view spot. I see a lot of people up here, but I don't know. To me, it seems like you kind of you stick out a little bit because of the coloring and stuff like that. Um, in the center here, you can get up on the statue. If you strafe to your left, you got a nice vantage point to the window. But you're also out in the open, so if you go to the right, it's a little bit more difficult. You've got some uh, obstructions there, but it still uh, gives you a little bit more cover. Uh, you can get on top of the tank. you got a nice little vantage point to the window. Um, this is a really sick shot spot that we found uh, right into that camp window. That remember that one because that one I'm sure everybody that watches this tutorial is going to use at some point in time. Uh, something extra we thought we'd throw in is uh, the B flag can be capped inside the back of the truck which is kind of ballsy but uh, it's good cover but if they throw a nade you're pretty much screwed so we just thought we'd include it anyway. If you come in here in the back you've got this tractor back here shit thinks my tractor's sexy <laughs> and uh, you can just uh, look around, you got nice vantage points in different areas, but you can also hop on top of the clothesline pole here, and you can see in that camp window we were talking about earlier, if I jump, maybe you can see it uh, right here when I crouch, you can see it just barely, and also to the left, there's a hard point there in that building, so again, nice little vantage point to watch. And last but not least is the Combat Axe Challenge, and uh, it's going to be a bee bomb plant on the east side. And if you're the first person to hit this in a ranked game, don't forget to send me a message via YouTube with a link to your video so I can favorite it and send you 1600 And yeah, you make sure you send me the full round, not the entire full game, but just the full round of search that you accomplished the challenge in. So like I said, this is going to be an east side bomb plant, and you're going to plant uh, in the center or just right of center. You're going to come all the way back here and wedge yourself in between the green door and the blue barrel. And this is fairly simple. You're just going to be looking straight up at B. You uh, If you want to put some danger clothes for double combat axes, you can. You can actually watch them come off and hit uh, hit the guy off the bomb. 
So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and you can use some of these spots to help you out a little bit. And I hope you guys have a good time trying to attempt the Combat X challenge. So thanks, Anzi, for helping me out with this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's it. I'm out. Deuces.